most people who think that they want to be a millionaire don't actually want to be a millionaire. If you ask them, hey, would you like to be a millionaire? They think, ah, oh, lots of money. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'd like to be a millionaire. <laughs> but they don't really understand what it means to be a millionaire because being a millionaire isn't just about having lots of free money. Being a millionaire actually means that you have to do certain things and live your life in a certain way. There's a certain lifestyle attached to being a millionaire. And for most people, that means that you have to work pretty damn fucking hard. You have a lot of responsibilities. You have a lot of stress. You cannot spend as much time with your friends and your family. You cannot spend as much time doing your hobbies. And even if you take a vacation, because you might think, oh, but you're, you're a millionaire, so you could take a lot of vacations to tropical locations and stuff, right? You can see the world and enjoy your life. But even if you take a vacation, then you can never really enjoy these vacations because there's always responsibilities that you have. There's always tasks that you have to do. Your phone is always on. There's always people calling you. And even if no one's calling you, then there are still things going on in your mind of the responsibilities that you have or the things that you have to do when you come back. You can never really, really relax. It consumes your life. Being a millionaire is a lifestyle that consumes your life. And yeah, sure, some people are lucky. There are people who win the lottery or they have like billionaire parents or something. But for most people, being a millionaire consumes their life. If you and I want to become a millionaire, that's probably what we'd have to do. We'd have to work 60 to 80 hours a week. We wouldn't be able to ever play a video game again. Uh, we wouldn't even have as much time to spend with our wife and our children, our family, our friends, and we can never really enjoy a vacation anymore. That's probably what we are going to have to do for the next 10 to 20 years, maybe for the rest of our lives, if we were to become a millionaire. <laughs> And the truth is, that's not what most people want. That's not what most people should want, right? Don't get me wrong. There are some people that want to do that. And if you really want to do that, then go ahead. I also think that a lot of people, young, especially young people, are misled. They think that that's what they want to do, but they don't really understand what that means in practice. They just think it, right? Because they see that on social media. But anyway, most people don't want that. It doesn't make them happy. But if you ask someone, hey, would you like to become a millionaire? They don't actually think about that. They don't think about the lifestyle that it takes. They don't, they don't understand what it means to be a millionaire. The only thing that pops into their mind is, hey, lots of money. Yeah, <laughs> sure, of course, I'd want to be a millionaire. And so they are on the default impression that they want to be a millionaire, even though they don't actually want to be a millionaire, they just want to have free money. But in practice, that's not what it means to be a millionaire. Being a millionaire isn't just about having free money. And I think this is very important to understand because it's something that I didn't understand when I was younger. I think most younger people don't quite understand this. They don't, you know, they don't think about it. I have spent a lot of my life thinking that I wanted to be a millionaire. And of course, on some level, I still kind of do want to be a millionaire. Sure. I mean, sure. But if I truly, honestly think about what it means to be a millionaire, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm willing to work hard. I'm willing to work 60 hours a week. I've often worked 60 hours a week. 
That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay. I'm willing to work harder than the average person. I'm willing to work in the evenings and in the weekends. Fine. But when you move up to like 80 hours a week and you get to that point where you cannot spend any time doing the things you like anymore with your family, because I'm a father now, I have a daughter. If I think about working 80 hours a week and not being able to spend time with my wife and my daughter anymore and not being able to ever enjoy a vacation anymore because you're always stressed and you always have these responsibilities and people phoning you nonstop. That's not something that I want to do. Again, I'm willing to work hard, but I'm not willing to work so hard that I cannot actually spend time with my daughter anymore. Or that I cannot ever enjoy my life anymore. Because what's the point? of having a lot of money and going on luxury vacations if you literally cannot even relax and enjoy your vacation. There is, a, there is a certain point that you reach where you cannot enjoy your vacations anymore and you cannot really spend time with your kids anymore. You know, like Elon Musk. Elon Musk supposedly schedules a few hours in the week with, to, to spend time with his kids, right? <laughs> And you know, Elon Musk is Elon Musk and we need people like Elon Musk in the world. But I'm just saying that most people are not Elon Musk. I would not want to be like Elon Musk. I'd want to have Elon Musk's money. Sure. You know, if Elon Musk would give me his money for free, I'd be like, <laughs> sure, <laughs> give me your money. But I wouldn't want to have the lifestyle of Elon Musk. Because I'm realistic enough to understand that Elon Musk has acquired that amount of money because of the lifestyle that he has. And maybe some other factors as well, like being in the right place at the right time and stuff. And being lucky that you're blessed with like a genius IQ levels and stuff like that. But you cannot achieve that amount of wealth without that lifestyle. I'm realistic enough to know that. And so if you would ask me, hey, would you want to trade places with Elon Musk? I'd say no, I wouldn't want to trade places with Elon Musk. I wouldn't want to have a life where I could only see my kids on Sunday morning because I scheduled two hours on Sunday morning to see my kids. I'm not trying to talk down Elon Musk, you know, again, we need people like Elon Musk in the world. I'm just saying that most people like me wouldn't want to do that. And the thing about being a millionaire is, is that it's kind of the same thing as with Elon Musk. Elon Musk is an extreme example, but being a millionaire is like a slightly milder version of what it takes to be Elon Musk. If you want to acquire that amount of wealth, it requires a certain lifestyle that most people, if you truly, truly think about what it means to have that lifestyle, it's probably something that you do not want to have. You'd actually be happier living a somewhat normal lifestyle, like a, like a normal person. You can work slightly harder than average. You can achieve above average results. But maybe we're not going to become millionaires or billionaires. And that's fine. If, in fact, it's not fine. It's actually better than becoming a millionaire because becoming a millionaire takes a lifestyle that isn't going to make us happier than the happiness that we could achieve with a somewhat more normal lifestyle. And so the next time you think about wanting to be a millionaire or not, just, just think about this. Just think about what it actually takes to be a millionaire. And then ask yourself is, if that is truly what you want. And have a little more appreciation for the life that you have right now or the life that you could achieve in the near future with a little bit of effort. <laughs>